second one, part three. Here we're going to be looking at the escapes from Moon Katame. In this video, we're going to be using a judo dummy, uh, a ball, whether it's a medicine ball, a football, a basketball, and we're going to be using some markers. So I've got some cones, but you could be using um, a couple of hats or some socks or anything like that, some scarves, anything you've got to lie about. If you can have different colours, it's handy, um, but it's not imperative that you have that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut to showing you how to do the escapes with a person, and then we'll come back to doing them with old Derek. Here we're going to look at how to do it firstly with a person, and then we'll go through all the different techniques to improve that. We've gone for our moon katane. Remember, I've gone home alone. I've gone hand underneath the neck and the shoulder. So this hand that's by the neck is on their shoulder. I'll just grab the gear. If it's no gear, I'll grab the back of their shoulder. So now, if my partner puts loads of weight on, I'll just lift my elbow up slightly, and then it'll put a slight strangle or deterrent, rather than strangle, a deterrent. Pushes them, pushes them away. Oliver's only gonna strangle himself for as long as he presses on me. My other hand comes on his hip and underneath his hips. Remember, we're gonna buckle through and one. Push my hips away, then we slide this bottom knee in, and then from here, I'm gonna push off Oliver to bring my head round here and grab hold of their arm. This leg's across the back, take this one out, and now I've gone got my full guard. If we look at this from the other side, so Oliver comes in for his move tame. I hit towards him, buckle around, push my hips away. Remember this bottom leg comes up to join my elbow. My knee and my elbow come in. Now it goes along the belt line. From here, I'm gonna push on Oliver, not to push him away, but push my head round. So I go from here, I come up and round to look at his ugly mug. Oh, I mean his beautiful face. So now I'm here. Now when I'm doing this, for adults, I'll keep this hand in here, because there, it's getting potential of a strangle. It will just keep them thinking about what I'm doing. So from here, I'm locked up. I could go to feet on feet and go to my, oh, sorry, my feet on his hips. I could go to butterfly, go to half guard. But we're looking here, I've got this arm, look, he's stretched out. So now he's in a lot harder position to move. Listen, they come in, I can always bring this arm in and keep this in nice and tight. And there's my full guard. We'll now go through how to do it with the different um, pieces of apparatus so you haven't got a person. So there you just saw the holds being done and escapes happening with a person. As you can see, Moon Katame is this hold here, chest on chest. So, we want to make sure that we're moving in a way that is helpful to getting out of that position. So some real simple ones where we need no um, uh, equipment here is we're just going to do our buckaroo So We're going to buck towards someone. So I'm going to pretend the person's here. I've gone got my arms up here, like home alone, not beside the club here. I've got my hands up. And then I'm going to buck towards to go and get my back far shoulder off the mat. Then I go to the other side, pretending the person's here. I turn here. So I've got my shoulder, you can see my back's off the mat. So turn here, back's off the mat turn here, backs off the mat. Now when I'm doing it, I'm driving from my feet. So I'm driving from my feet onto my shoulder. I'm not keeping my whole body on the side on the mat. Here, I'm going one, I'm getting my body off the ground here to push up. So when you're doing it, think about having the pressure on your feet and the shoulder that you're turning into. So we do a couple each side, you ready? So we go, itch, how about the other side? Knee, sun, she, go, rock, sitch, and ash. So you can see from there, I'm doing more like a swiveling action. So rather than me going um, here and going, turning into the person, I'm going to swivel. So I'm going, uh, I'm trying to stay pretty much where I am, and I'm pushing up. So I'm staying in the same spot, but you can see my hips are then pushing out the back. So I've not turned my hips here, where they were, I've actually moved my hips out behind me a little bit to make the gap between myself and the person, as you saw when I did it on the person a minute ago. So when you do it this time, try and make sure you're not just rolling in, you're doing like a swirl here on those feet, on those shoulders here, so you can see now my hips have gone out. So from there, let's try a few more, with that in mind. Itch, knee, stand, cheek, go. Rug, sitch, and ash. Good. So, 
That's the first part, that's what we call like buckaroo rank when we're doing it in our judo and what we'll turn into the person. We now need the push away, okay? So we now need to push away from someone. So again, we can do this on our own. So from here, we turn one, we're now going to push our hips back, we push our hips back. So a real simple exercise is just doing that buckaroo rank and then push my hips back here and then coming back towards my body arms. So don't leave your arms and legs out, put them back. So I'm here, buckaroo and push my hips back here, and then I bring myself back up here. So now I've made that distance between myself and my partner. So we're gonna do a couple where we do buckaroo and, and push our hips away. So I'm gonna turn towards you first, so itch, then push your hips away. Good, then come back. Other side, knee, push your hips away, come back. Sad, push away, give your hips, sheep, go. Rock. So I'm pushing away, and then I would come back to here. And ash, push away, and then I'm here. So there we're doing some real simple practices of getting ourselves into the right positions. So when we, you can see when we did move Terry, one of the things we did, we went to the guard. So we're going from that chest to chest position, or that um, side control, as it's often called in judo, it's chest hold and we're moving ourselves into a position where we can get our feet in front of them. So then we can do, in, in the video I did there, I did a, a full guard where I wrap my legs around. You could go to things like butterfly, you could go to half guard. Um, you can sort of play around and do what position you're most happy with. So from here, what we do now is we're gonna put in one of the elements of our equipment. So we're gonna have the two cones. So here it's just making sure you're moving your hips away. So this is one of the most important escapes you'll do. This is pretty much every escape has an element of this in it. So I'm gonna put my two markers next to my hips, okay? So they're here. Now I'm gonna to turn to look at one marker and then with my feet, I'm gonna push my hips away to put my bottom just above the other marker, here. So I'm moving myself away from, from someone. So from here, I turn, and up. So this is how you shrimp as well. So if you shrimp across the mats, this will be how you do it. So you're just making sure you're turning to look at one marker and then you push your hips away over the other marker. And you can see here, my hips are in line with the markers. I block a ruan, push my hips away. And now you can see I'm sat on top of this marker. And you can see my hips have now moved from here, so from the markers to here. So I'm nice and far away. So get your markers ready. I'll do a couple on each side. So butt, Itch, come back, knee, sad, she, go, rock, sitch, ash, cut, jerk, and through. So that's a nice, simple practice, a very useful one, and you could. Go that round a couple more times and have another few goes of it. From here, as you saw in the video, I went from being on a side position, uh, with, sorry, with the person at my side to get my person at my feet. So if you haven't got a Derek or anyone, using a medicine ball is a really good, or a football or anything like that, or if you've got a bag and put a few sort of pillows and that in it, just as a marker as a person. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the object on our chest, we're gonna buckle around towards them, one, and now I'm gonna keep this object here. I'm not gonna push the object away because I won't be able to push the person away easily. I'm gonna push my hips away, just like in that last drill. One here. Keep my hands here to keep the person there, and then I'm gonna walk my feet to be in here. So that I'd even be like wrapping around in the guard, or I'd be going butterfly, or I'd be getting my feet on hips, anything here, but here's my person. But that's all done with me just putting my feet where the person is, that's so real key. So from here, put your object on your chest, and we're gonna buck, one, push ourselves away, two, then walk round, and three, here. On chest, so buck one, I push back two, then I walk my feet in here, get my feet on the object, just like I'm wrapping them round someone. So from that, go again, Buck one, push away with my hips, keep them there. So don't bring your arms in here, keep your arms not fully extended, so they're bent so you've got strength in those arms, 
but you're keeping that person from sliding back in, otherwise you've got to do the whole process again. So I keep them there, I walk round, and get my feet in the way, and now I am with my feet now in the position of the person. So from here on your chest, from there, buck one, push your way two, walk my feet in, three. And come back, buck one, push your way two, feet in. Do that again, and buck one, push your way two with my hips, walk my feet in, sit, a couple more, buck one, push your way two, feet in, do two more, one on each side, buck one, push your way two, feet in, through, and from there, buck one, push your way two, feet go on, and three. If you haven't got a ball, another handy little practice is you can always do this against the wall. So use the wall as the ball. So from here, I buck towards the person, buck, I push my hips back, two, and I bring my feet in on the wall. So I come back, here, I buck towards the person, here, I push away with my hips. Now I put my feet on the wall, which would be the person, and there I am, ready to go, either guard or any other holds that I'm in. So, if you want, keep going with this one. Um, so from there, buck one, out, walk in, walk round. So come back, do a couple more so you can see. Buck one, push your hips away, come round and up. Buck one, push your hips away, round and back through. And buck one, push round and back. Just getting used to getting those hips away as feet in. Hips in, feet away, and through. So there's a few little practices there, just using a, a ball, the markers, a wall, even on your own, just practice that. Just doing this is great practice for everybody. It's a really good practice for everyone. So now we go to how we're gonna do it specifically for the two different escapes that I showed from Moon Tamo. So the first one is a real simple one. So you get your judo dummy, or an actual person if you've got one, so here's my judo dummy. I've got myself at home alone. I'll make sure that this hand, turn around. So the hand nearest the head, I'll put on their shoulder and I'll just try and squeeze my elbow underneath their neck here. So now if they're pushing down, there's a little bit of resistance because they're choking themselves here. So I might grab that gi here, or put my hand on the shoulder. Hand underneath the hips here. So now look, I've got this hand towards their belt where their hip is and I've taken my elbow underneath and it's along that belt line. So I'm gonna to buck towards them, one, push my hips away, two, slide my leg in. So now this is the next big key. I slide this leg in. Because here, if I don't, if I have this leg down there, they can pin it and jump over it, they might react to what I'm doing. If I can get to here, I'm halfway to safety, and this is a very good position. If I'm, um, if I, so if I make a mistake now, or go wrong, I've got this shin across their belt is a good position to be in, it's a safety net. So now if I make a bit of a mistake or they're a bit strong, I've got this to push them off with. Whereas if this is on the floor and it's not connecting to them, it's not stopping them, they can get round. So when you do this next bit, ensure that hand on the shoulder, underneath the neck, other hand on the hip, I butt towards them, push my hips away, and now I bring this knee underneath my elbow. So now I've got this barrier. So from here, I'll now come back to look at them. So I'll, I'll look to isolate this arm. So now this arm goes underneath their arm, and I'll push off their hips, not necessarily to push them away, but just to keep a bit of distance for myself. And I'll bring this elbow up high to stretch them out. This leg could go around the back. Now I'll bring this leg out. So now I've got them, I've trapped an arm. I'm now in guard. So now we've escaped the moon gatame. So from here, as you can see, I'm in my Moon Gatame from Derek. He's doing a great job. I slide this hand. So if I'm not able to get this hand, I bring this hand next to the neck and slide the elbow underneath the neck. Hand on the shoulder. This hand slides underneath their body, grabs hold of the hip or the belt, and that my elbow is right underneath their hips. So I butt towards Derek. I push my hips back. Now my bottom leg comes in to meet my elbow here. 
you can see I'm still like on a side position and I'll be now I'll start working my head away from them to get straight on. But to help myself, I'll take hold of this arm that's free, I'll push my leg away, and then I'll walk myself around. I can even grab this side of the gig, walk round. I'm stretching this arm out, wrap the leg round, and then I'll bring this leg out, wrap now in my guard. So we're going to guard because that's a very basic position to do it, go to. You could hit the butterfly, the half guard, etc. Not so easy when you haven't got a person without any legs, but those are the positions you could do. So get yourself your dummy. Arm underneath, arm on the shoulder. Here, I'm gonna to buck towards one, drop my hips back, my knee comes underneath on the belt line, take this arm up, wrap round, wrap that one round. So now I've got what you can see, I might be cupping that head in, just keep control of them, grab the back of the gi, here, okay? Shot on the other side. Hello, dodge. Off you go. So look from here, I buck towards the dog. Now from there, I drop my hips back, take my knee underneath. It's gone to where my elbow is. I'm isolating this arm, so I'm gonna come round, keeping it tight. This one comes round as well. And then from there, wrap my leg over the top and through, and then control them in. Having the head here is always a good position. If I'm gonna grab the head, I'm gonna grab the far shoulder. So I'm, I'm using my right hand, so I'm gonna go across their body. I'm not gonna grab the shoulders nearest to me, and grab the far side, okay? Because as you get older, that comes into being a nice, helpful choke position here as you're going through. So, being in here, I can bring myself around, get myself into a choke, all things like that. So, go and get yourself your person set up. You do one more on each side. So, hip, shoulder, buckaroo towards them, drop the hips back, knee underneath, bring the arm that you've got cupped up by the elbow. So, you're going to be pulling the elbow up, Wrap the leg round, trap this one out, here, control them. And then one more, that's without a dog. From here, I think Derek's only gonna take one more. From here, push, push your hips away, knee, bottom leg comes in and under, control this arm, wrap round, and through. And there we've got to my guard position. So those are the skates for the first movie time, mate. What we'll do now is we'll have a look at the um, second escape or one for Mungitame and then we'll go on to showing you a couple of processes to do with the person. For our second escape from Mungitame we're going to do the one where we involve the sweep. So the beginning bit is all the same. Oliver comes in, I've got my arms into home alone, he comes in, across the neck and across the hip line. I face towards him, my hips back, come in. So now my knee's there, so this is our safety zone. My hand goes up to ask the question. I'm either going to grab hold of the belt or go and grab hold of the bottom arm. Depends if he's using this to post or not. At the moment, we're gonna pretend he's not using it to post. So we go up, ask the question, go on the belt. I kick this leg out. I'm not gonna lift Oliver all the way up to the ceiling. I'm gonna push my leg out and open the door. Push out and roll him over here. So now I'm in my moon, in my take shooting tummy. Isolated this arm, and then I can start feeding into what I need to feed into. You can see that it's a nice, simple roll over sweep. You don't need to lift them so their legs in the air, just tip them round you. We'll do it once more from the other side. That's it, yeah, you got that, buddy. So they're here, I buck a ruin, hips away, hip comes underneath. I go up and ask the question, grab hold of the belt, my elbow comes down the back of his head. If I find he's putting this arm out, I'll take this arm, bring it in, and do exactly the same thing. I kick the leg down, roll my leg over, I keep rolling, and here I am in, take shoot and tamming. We've just seen it with a partner, we're now going to go through it with our Derek, our judo dummy. The process to get to the sweep is exactly like the process to get to the full guard. We just changed prior to the full guard part. When we're doing this one, we're going to do so. We're going to do exactly the same positions, all the same movements. So those movements led to two different ways for us to get either the guard or the sweep. Keep those positions in mind. So we go into our position here, hand on the shoulder, underneath the neck. Hand on the hip, underneath the hips, on the belt line like we just talked about. We buck her around towards them. We push our hips back, my knee comes in. Remember we said this is a safety position. I could either go to guard or go for the sweep. We're gonna go for the sweep, but that knee is crucial. That's the thing that keeps people here. So, I take the hand that's underneath his neck, I put my hand up and ask the question, reaching for their belt. From there, I'll tip over, 
taking this leg over and across, looking to then land in to some sort of Tate Shuby Tanner. Point is on this one. When we come in and move here, you're gonna get a knee in. I take this hand that's underneath the neckline, I take it up and grab hold of the belt. A lot of people will look to tip the whole person up. For me, being a smaller person, I tend to look to make it a little bit simpler. I think you can do that if you're with someone that you're as strong as, or you can lift their weight, but if you're not, this next way is much easier. I, what I look to do is open the door. So rather than opening a door like this, I, you open the door like this here. So I'm gonna take it across myself. As I do that, this leg that's on the ground will push down. So this leg will kick out. So I'm gonna kick that leg out and turn into the person as I'm opening that door from here and turn them over. I've got to make that mo motion strong to make sure they go over. I'm here. Underneath, I buck towards them, push away, knee goes underneath. Arm goes up to ask the question, grab hold of the belt. I'm now going to open the door, not lift them up. I'm gonna peel them around by opening the door, kick my leg down, push over with this leg. So I'm kicking this leg over, but it's a push. And I keep that motion going, and that will land me in a take shooting tummy. Let's do one more. He grabs, push towards, underneath hips, reach up, ask the question, grab hold of the belt, open the door, kick the leg down, and take yourself over. Let's have a look at it from the other side. To the other side. Here, from there, I buck her in, push away, knee comes in. I go up, ask the question, grab hold of the belt, open the door, remember don't lift them up, open the door, once I open the door, I kick my other leg down, push this one over. So I kick, and push, and through. There you go. And through until like it takes you your hammer. Let's do one more on that side, and then let's look at a couple of variations. So from here, but, through, up, hand that's underneath the neck goes up, ask the question, kick the leg down, kick over, and round. And here, I mean, my take shoot, Sammy, you can keep hold of this arm, because that one sort of comes with you, and I'll often control this one, gives you something then to work with. So, a slight variation to that, and this can just because your partner might be thinking about what you're doing or stopping you, so away here. So, take, move, Sammy, then have this arm over there. So I'll do my normal bits here now. If I go here and start taking that way, what you might find is this arm goes out as a post. So one thing we can do there is go up, ask the question, if we find that arm's going out, bring my elbow down the back of the head. So the head might be up here. I'm gonna push their, el their head down my elbow and cup that arm. So now I pull that arm in. So now I've got the head and that elbow tucked in nice and tight. So the base has gone from being long to being small. Do the exact same thing, I kick that leg down. As I do it, I push here over. Again, I come up with this arm control. So a variation to this is turn in, arm come up. If I'm having trouble with that being a post, I come, elbow comes down the back of the head, grabs hold of that elbow, tucks in. Now, kick that leg down, throw this arm over, kick this leg over, and keep turning. Here, and I got my tape shooting camera. Let's have a look at that two times on the other side to finish off this section. So now from here, there, I buckle towards them, in. Head goes, hand goes up to ask a question. If I see that one's gonna be a pain, it's gonna be a post, bring my elbow down the back of their head, grab the back of their elbow, tuck it in, so now everything's tight. They're not using this to um, base themselves anymore. Kick the leg down, turn your hips, and push yourself up and over, controlling them. Once more, so tuck in, one, arm comes up, tuck down the back of the head, grab hold of the elbow, lift over, and through. And there we have our two ways of doing escapes without a person. We'll now go to me doing the two escapes with a person again, just so you can see how they look on a person. And then that is session three, or part three, of the second one done. So now we're going to take a quick look at the two escapes you've been practicing and see how they're done on a purse again, just as a quick reminder. We've got Moon Tame, so that chest hold, comes in, 
One, face towards in, drag this arm up, high, leg around the back, sweep the leg round, full guard. Yeah, then come up, hands in, hips away, in, bring this elbow up, tie him up, here, and I'll bring this leg out and round into full guard. Our other escape from here was, arm comes in, hips, knee, ask the question, kick that leg down, roll him over, come through. Brilliant, off you go. And then once more on the other side, Oliver comes in. Here, yeah, hips, through, in. From that, ask the question. Or go down, take the far elbow, kick the leg down. Leg comes over the top, through. Here, take Shukitami. Thank you for watching myself, Derek, Oliver, and Dodger. <laughs>